I identify as a heteronormative, heteroromantic bisexual, which means that I am sexually attracted to both men and women. I only date guys. I came out to my mom last year as bisexual, and she was the one who helped me figure out that I was heteroromantic bisexual. At first, I was confused and felt super weird about it, but I guess with time, I understood the whole concept, and it sort of helped me understand myself better as a person. That's really nice to hear, and it's so good. to see somebody else figure out their identity especially especially with their mom and to know that they have the support is like really heartwarming and yeah i always question why girls and girls and boys and boys can't love each other and none of the illogical explanation given by my elders ever made sense but they did silence me and that was until i realized that i liked women more than i thought i did and i questioned if it was because of my emotionally and emotionally unavailable mother that i had this sort of feeling which i misunderstood for a sort of familial love but evidently i was in denial of who i really was and questioned my sexuality for almost 2 years and i was closeted during that period i first came out to my then boyfriend who told me that i was wrong and that i wasn't bisexual which made me doubt my sexuality again but i was much more confident about who i was this time and didn't hold back educating about the community and what exactly being bisexual means for me i still haven't come out to my strict and conservative parents but i have to my most closest friends and some of my cousins too who have all been very, very supportive all right all right i feel that more queer people need to realize that familial support is not always what you need not always what's going to help you because this is saying um the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb and the idea behind that is queer, as queer people most of us find support only through our found families only through our friends when you have conservative and strict parents it's often really beneficial to just let yourself ask yourself the question do i even want them in my life do i even want them to make them more make me more miserable when they're not going to support me and they've only made my life hard for all the years that i've known them i identify as a questioning bisexual and my pronouns are she they as a very confused 14 year old i distanced myself from the lgbtqia plus stuff because of internalized homophobia fair enough I came out to my mom in 2021 horribly and although my mom doesn't really voice her opinions on LGBTQIAs I have caught her watching Bollywood LGBT movies so I believe that we've made some good progress I mean pretty standard yeah like you know a lot of us don't really have a lot of these terms and a lot of these concepts internalized so the homophobia comes very really naturally you know it's a lot of effort you have to put in to unlearn all of that stuff before you can start learning new things Like, I'm bisexual. I realized in sixth grade when a pretty girl in class made my heart beat faster. I came out in sixth grade itself. First at my school were the constant derogatory names and words heard for a bit, but I grew used to it. I tried to tell my mom, but she refused to believe me and tried to tell me it was a phase. Since then, she's grown a lot more supportive. The person who supported me right off the bat was my sister, and I'll always be grateful for her. In recent years, I've also realized that I'm demisexual and sex repulsed. At first, I thought there was something wrong with me, but I realized that not wanting sex is also completely okay. It took me a lot of time, but I'm comfortable with myself and have a and have a lot of support for which I'm infinitely grateful. I relate a lot to the first part of it because I too realized I was bisexual around sixth grade, and I'm very glad whoever wrote this has a support system around them and their sister. I didn't have that, but I'm very glad whoever wrote this did. I did have my friends around me. But I'm glad this person is discovering more things about themselves, and that they, you know, they have a support system that's around them. Hey, I identify as a bi. I think from a very young age, I was attracted to women, but the fear of not being accepted in the society kept me being closeted. I don't think a lot of people still know about it. Not because I don't want to be known as a bi, but the stigma that comes with it. I'm still figuring out my sexuality, to be honest, and that's okay by me. unless and until i love someone without any boundaries uh, i feel like yeah this is a very common experience for most queer people who like people of multiple genders and it's um, like you know the doubt self doubt that comes with it it's a big big thing we deal with quite often and i and i think it's it's okay to feel like that especially when we're conditioned to think 
there is either or and not like you don't have that spectrum of options that actually exists uh, also like um, the part about you know like not having stigma but also not wanting to share with everyone is completely okay your safety and your boundaries are the utmost priority as an individual and uh, i'm so glad you're figuring out who you are and anyone want class trip hello i identify as bisexual and i'm still closeted unfortunately I have came out to some close friends but I'm very scared to come out to all as I live in a girls hostel and it's scary to think about how many roommates will treat me it's very suffocating sometimes like I have this bright flag in my bio but I have to lie to others that it is for ellipses because I am scared to actually come out it kind of makes me feel that I am an imposter for lying like this but there's nothing I can about instead of just wait to get out of this country well um this is not this is something that i think a lot of us uh, L, uh lgbtqi we go through this right like having to come out or the fact that it's not normalized like straight people never have to come out right so the fact that you are still closeted doesn't mean that you are an imposter or anything you do not and no one owns you anything you do not own anyone to come out if you do not want to come out then you don't need to come out you don't own anyone that and if by chance people uh make well your roommates or anyone do not accept you as who you are like they don't deserve you and saying this would be very easy but then what if you have some really really close friends and you don't want to lose them but at the same time what if they don't accept you right so i think that's a risk you should take for yourself cuz a life without risk it's boring in a sense and when i first came out to my friends back in 8th grade my then best friends immediate words were get the fuck away from me We did mend a relationship after that but his words have always stayed with me. I hate the fact that it's so normalized for your family or friends to take some time to come around or whatever once they learn of your sexuality. Let our relationship of however like a relationship for however many years before it was completely worthless. I just tell the person who wrote this that don't give a fuck about them. these people you will find your family you will find your friends who gonna be there for you who gonna accept you and you know, these people are just not worth it never had the coming out moment in my life never felt like labeling myself i'm still learning trying my best to explore labels can be difficult though sometimes they can make you feel at home my family is completely unaware about the whole exploring situation as for my friends it's almost like I'm sure that they are they are reminded every 2 seconds. I never want a coming out story. I just feel like existing and loving whoever is ready to love me back. So, mere ko bhi labels apne upar pasand nahi hai. Chahe main state hi feel karta hu, par tab bhi state mein bhi aisa lagta hai ki shayad kuch log mujhe mere jaise abhi bade baal hai to bahut baar main metro pe jata hu to जो चेक कर रहे होते तो मुझे बहुत बुरे कुछ वर्ड्स बोल देते हैं कि लड़कियों को तो उधर से आना था तो बहुत बीच बीच में ऐसा लगता था कि ये लेबल्स क्यों होते हैं बट हाँ ये बहुत रिलेटेबल था तो अच्छा लगा मुझे पढ़ के एवरीबडी हैज़ डिफरेंट एक्सपीरियंसिस विद फिगरिंग आउट देर आइडेंटिटीज़ फॉर मी इट टुक मी अ हॉट मिनट टू सी द वेरी ऑब्वियस साइंस विद फिगरिंग आउट माई लेबल एंड लर्निंग अबाउट द कम्यूनिटी केम द सडन रियलाइजेशन ऑफ दी blatant homophobia around me hidden as jokes some of my friends didn't even realize that these jokes which became such a casual occurrence were were homophobic comments until i pointed it out kind of hurtful my friends do that <laughs> it's not nice at 12 i began liking this girl i didn't think i could be gay until 13 when i discovered queerness thanks to the internet from then on i started questioning accepting and loving myself something i'm still working on when i told my parents i was queer dad said he loved me while mom still pretends i'm not i mean coming out is tough the snide remarks disgusted stares the ostracization but it's worth it 
it's worth being me around people I trust and I know being able to be me is a privilege I'll never take for granted. I hope one day others don't have to act his head. That I don't have to act because acting is fucking exhausting. But I am really proud of them for their view on it and being proud of their identity and coming out. And if any of you guys are in this situation, I would say find your community um, and talk to people. Family goes much beyond biological family and if they don't accept you for being queer, I do. I identify as a non-binary bi bioromantic. I figured out my sexuality in middle school when I was in 8th grade and I was so afraid of people finding out that I was secretly dating a boy in my class so people would think I was straight. A while after we broke up, I started telling my close friends about my sexuality and started seeing that they accepted me. I recently came out to my parents as well and they are absolutely fine with my sexuality. As for my gender, they are still getting used to referring to me with gender neutral terms and using my correct pronouns. But I am very happy to not have to hide my true self with the people I love the most. It's such a hard moming message. You see, there are tons of people who are scared to come out. You don't have to label yourself first of all. You don't have to label yourself. You can be whatever you want to be. You can be whatever you are. I identify as bisexual and I figured out my sexuality in 7th grade. I buried my sexuality because I was largely unaware and uneducated about it when I was 11. Up until I turned 15, existing as who I am was the hardest thing I have ever gone through. I come from a high school that is highly accepting, but the safe space I exist in now can be taken away from me in after my last year here. That is my biggest fear. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes I know it's hard for people like वो खुद को पता होता है but I have seen many people who don't accept as an observer I think it's it's really really hard for them because the society makes a stigma out of it that some people even I have heard some people calling it a mental illness but I hope that the person who wrote this I hope that you get better people and even if you don't I hope that you don't give a fuck about it and just be who you are. That's it. I identify as bisexual and genderqueer, probably or demigirl, but still figuring that out. I came out to people for the first time a few years ago as bisexual, which led to a lot of my friends outing me to their parents and then cutting me off. While my parents have been supportive of my bi identity, there are rules on who I am allowed to come out to, which used to make me feel less than or as though they were ashamed of me. My gender identity is something I share with a very few people as a result as I'm scared of going through the same thing. Then although at this point I'm completely comfortable with my bisexuality and quite public about it as well. Okay. I feel like this is... I mean, being straight, I think I have heard friends around me who have addressed these problems and it's not just one friend, it's a lot of people and I feel there's this kind of discomfort that you obviously have when you are uh, talking about it to somebody because it's such a vulnerable thing to somebody and I don't think it is kahi se bhi right to you know um, I mean that is okay if you are telling your parents about it but if they're not supportive about it and they're you know like telling you things that are wrong about it I don't think that's right and I just think that you should create a comfortable space for your friends at least you can be the person they can come to if they need to talk about something so yeah that's what I think sexual 14 year old and I swear to god if I tell my family that I'll either be kicked out or told that I'm too young to be LGBTQ plus honestly that sentence never uh, quite made sense to me because no one's ever told ever too young to find out something about their own selves I found out I was bi when I was just 11, I think. I remember watching Casey Undercover on Disney and thinking, wait, Zendaya is honestly really attractive. Let's go. <laughs> you know, I want to be her. Let's go. I'll be with her. <laughs> now that I look back on it, it's honestly funny. I'm also, I've, I also had a raging crush on both Eleanor and Sahani from The Good Place before I've ever figured out I was bi. That is nice. Like, yes. you don't, you don't have, you know, you're like not obliged to come out to your family. Exactly. Just do it when you're comfortable. I'll give you that. Like, I'm still not out. <laughs> but it's nice, you know, just telling your friends, being open to people yeah. around you. I'm gender fluid, demi romantic, and homosexual. I have known I'm part of the community since I was around 13, but I was aware of my attraction towards all genders before that. I didn't know anything about being gay as a kid, and when I learned about it, I knew it was me. 
Many people don't really understand me being gender fluid or demi romantic, and even though I'm out, don't use my chosen names or pronouns. While my friends are accepting, they never try to use my pronouns. Um, I am not out to my family yet because my parents are very homophobic and I don't think they'll accept me. As a gay person, I get many unwanted opinions, criticism, and many times people disregard me. But I'm proud to be a part of the community. Well, firstly, I would like to say that if your friends say that they're accepting, but they're not willing to use your chosen name or your chosen pronouns, then I would say that they're not really people that you should hang around. I understand that you can't choose your family, but I've had to cut off a lot of my friends as well because they would say things like, we will only use she, her pronouns for you or whatever. And I feel like while you can't choose your family, you can choose your friends. And I think the community is a very big and accepting space. So as long as you start finding friends within that community, you should be able to kind of find your place in the world, I guess. And also, um, I don't know how old you are, it says that you've known since you were around 13, but I'm really hoping that you're in a safe space now and that um, you're old enough to have full autonomy over your life. I identify as queer and non-binary and I use all pronouns and I'm out to most of my friends and some of my family. It's nice being out because almost my entire friend group ended up coming out as LGBTQ plus eventually. And it's like I have my own support group, which is nice. I also think over the two years that I've been out, I've come to accept myself more than I did before because, because I feel I've become more confident in my identity now. I think since like sixth grade, I've known I wasn't straight, but I wasn't sure what I was. So I just didn't think about it. But over COVID and quarantine, I kind of discovered myself more. Okay, so whoever wrote this, first thing I want to say is, I'm so proud of you and it's okay you took your time you accepted yourself and then you came out to people and everyone's life drastically changed in the whole COVID and quarantine and I think it's for the best right now because you were able to explore more about yourself you were able to express yourself and express who you are accept who you are and yeah it might get a little difficult sometimes but I'm so proud of you for how you're handling everything and I hope that you're very happy.